Well, it's a beautiful uh, sunshiny day here, almost May in uh, Toronto, Ontario, Canada at the BMX Park. Uh, early Sunday morning, we got Mike and Mark here. Uh, they're part of the rebuilding project. Uh, how's it going, guys? Not too bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. A little early, a little tired, but <laughs> other than that, we're doing good. Now, tell me exactly what's been going on here uh, the last couple of weeks. I understand both of you have been very involved in uh, the rebuilding of the bike park here after the fire. Yep. Uh, just basically building a ton of decks and repairing virtually every quarter we have. Uh, it takes a lot of work, a lot of effort. Um, uh, no, just, uh, you know, moving a lot of stuff around, putting it where it has to be. Lots of hard labor and pushing, you know, other than that, it's been smooth sailing. It's slowly coming together. So I understand that uh, this week the actual rebuilding is going to start? Yes, yes. That's when we're getting uh, huge shipments of lumber. Uh, hopefully the actual plywood for the corners so we can get some of the volunteers from the community that want to put the corners together, they can start doing that. And uh, we're going to be resurfacing a lot of the corners, rebuilding some of them. And we should, we're probably going to have this done a lot sooner than we thought. Now, has, uh, how's the community been? Has anybody offered their assistance to you since uh, we made the plea for some assistance? Yes, lots of people. Um, we've had a lot of actual carpenters coming in saying they'll volunteer our, their time on weekends or after work whenever they can. They left their phone numbers with us and whenever we're down here we can give them a call. We're just waiting for the lumber to show up because we, we don't want them to show up and have nothing to do. And, uh, you know, the Wallace boys, they've been helping us move some stuff around, you know. It's been a nice, positive uh, environment. Yeah. So you, what you're telling me is everybody using this park it seems to be coming together. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, even some of the people that might have caused some problems in the past? Yeah, yeah. So especially those guys. Awesome. It's uh, great news to hear, you guys. Um, now, we made a plea for about six thousand seven thousand dollars to try and uh, pay for this wood that's coming on Monday um, how much is uh, of that have you guys uh, managed to raise so far about eighteen hundred dollars eighteen hundred yep. so we're a long way away from paying for what's needed yep but it's a uh, surprise that we've got that high already <laughs> yeah we're just happy that really people good. are donating and you know thinking about us Good stuff. Now, later on this afternoon, this is really early in the morning we're doing this. Like, we're talking before 9 o'clock. You guys are dedicated uh, rebuilders here and dedicated bikers. So, um, how many kids will be out here this afternoon? Uh, probably about maybe six to seven of the local guys. We might have a couple others showing up from farther away, you know, but a good five to seven guys riding bikes, you know. Yeah, will there will there be any uh, little kids that are watching you? For sure, there's tons. Tons there's, there's about, uh, you know, half a dozen of them from the area and they just come and watch and attempt and, you know, we help them out, you know. And, it's uh, just fun. It's good to get other little kids in the riding. Yeah. We're going to have a little, because uh, this is very intimidating for little kids for the first time. It's intimidating to me sometimes. Uh, we're going to have a uh, all the way back there, just a little kids area, smaller ramps, smaller quarters, stuff that, that they can like start on and get the feel for it. Then they can come here and do this and hopefully we'll have that done by tomorrow or uh, midweek. So, so you guys are helping the little kids? Yeah, yeah. helping pretty much everybody. And uh, moms and dads, are they pretty happy with that? Yeah, they yeah. are. Yeah. Great. Well, that's what it's all about. You know, kids working with adults and... Uh, leadership like you uh, with the youth in the community so thanks very much guys and uh, no problem uh, you got that that uh, bank account thing if anybody uh, needs to uh, donate some money because we need a little bit more money here uh, if they feel the urge you can go to the uh, NETD Canada Trust uh, and make a, uh, a donation to the uh, BMX bike park Transit number 1304, account 6350692. We're about four or $5,000 shy uh, to do the rebuilding. Like, uh, there's a corner piece right there. 
should be a corner piece right there, but it, but it was burned. So uh, it's a lot of wood. It's a lot of uh, skills development for kids. It's uh, kids working with adults. It's uh, teenager kids mentoring younger kids. It's uh, legal graffiti art done uh, with a number of different groups and organizations. And uh, it's all coming back together here at the Wallace Emerson Community Center. Uh, there's the uh, remains of the fire. And uh, it's all uh, coming together. That's what was burned. Those are those corner bowls there that uh, need to be rebuilt. Plus uh, two quarters. To see everyone knows what a quarter is. This is a quarter. And uh, we need about four or five thousand dollars more. So uh, we're community building down here at the uh, BMX bike park in uh, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Spring has sprung, and uh, everybody's down here trying to make it work for the kids.